Hello everybody, welcome back. So um, this is an old radiator, yes? And usually there are a lot of uh, radiators like this here in Europe. But what if I told you that we can make the radiator heat faster just by adding a few fans. The fans will be mounted on the underside of the radiator and this will push the air up and uh, hopefully will heat the room more rapidly than just by convection that these radiators normally use. So I saw this kind of uh, radiator boosters that are available to buy but uh, for me the price seems a little bit high and um, also there are a few design things that um, I know that uh, isn't really good. So let's see how uh, DUI version would look that I designed using FreeCAD. FreeCAD is a free software, you can download it, search for it on Google, a lot of tutorials on YouTube. So um, I designed these brackets and uh, I also 3D printed them and now we will uh, see how to mount them. First. I tried using uh, 40 mm fans uh, and I used a lot of them but when I first started them the problem was really obvious uh, too much noise and very small airflow so after that I decided to use these 60 mm fans yeah okay now let's see the finished 3d printed parts yeah we have um, this is one end of the whole assembly yes and here we will have the we will have the input the input so he, we will come with 12 volts here here we will have the settings for the pvm and also the thermostat will be mounted here yes then we have the sections these are uh, 190 millimeter sections we have these supports, yeah, which we also print and uh, mount a magnet in them. Yeah, and these come in these holes like this. And when we push the mount under the radiator, the magnets will, will make contact with the metal and hold the whole assembly there. So maybe we will use eight. 6-8 of this depending on length maybe 10 it's it all depends on how well they stick then after that we have the bracket for the for the sensor of the thermostat yeah this is it here also we will add magnets and uh, here which are already printed these are small little hexagons which will come into these holes yeah and this is how everything is held together i'm i'm not sure i don't i didn't use glue on this one so it's standing really well by itself okay now for the assembly it's really easy you have the let's say the main bracket which holds the fans and then you have these little hexagon parts everything is hexagon and not round because it's easier to print and you do not need supports for these parts if you print everything round you will need supports and this is it and we will do this in all four holes okay we have have all four or eight mounted and here comes the fan for the fan we are using this silicon thingies i will leave uh, the link in the description they are from aliexpress and hopefully uh, we can manage to get rid of the vibration from the fans. It's not much, but it's there. So I use free for now because uh, I think they are enough and also leave a little bit of play for the fan. Okay, so now that everything is aligned, we just have to pull on this little thing is and everything is mounted the fan has a little bit of play like we wanted and now we do the same 
over and over until we get the dimension we need. For this I used ABS and there is a little bit of warping so probably you will be better going with something like Easy ABS or Bamboo Lab ABS. This is from Sanlu. It, it prints good but it will be a little bit of uh, warping. I'm not sure you can see it like this. There it, it's there. Really small but it's there. Another thing, just shortly, why the design of the hole is like this and not a round hole, because I had a round hole before and if anything is just a little bit in front of the blade it will make, it will make a windy noise. This is why I think those commercial variants already have a big noise just by uh, the air going through those uh, grills. I mean, I don't think you really need grills because they are under the radiator and well anyway it's a 12 volt little fan it, it cannot really hurt you yeah it, it it can hurt if it you put put your hand in there but it's not like it will cut your finger down or something like that okay so next we have to mount the thermostat Yes, and this is also done with these small little pins and here is the one place where I will use glue but first let's mount the PVM controller Yeah, this should go into this hole just a small tightening then we will use the we'll mount the connection for the small power supply Yeah, tighten it a little bit. Thermostat. Yeah, first let's put a little bit of glue. Okay, so next we will make the thermostat connections I will just uh, thin a little bit the wires so use a little bit of heat shrink and right now I will try to melt it on the wires I think that's enough it will not go anywhere good so the wiring we have positive and negative from the connector usually positive is the middle and we are coming I use the same color wires so it would be easier we are coming with a positive here we were supplying the thermostat and also we are supplying the uh, one of the relays uh, contacts the relay is open so it doesn't matter which one then we come up with the positive and we supply the PVM board and the same for the negative we supply the thermostat and also this board the negative doesn't go through the relays also we have the sensor connected so normally it should start yeah so it is the relay did not click this means we have a different set point so let's see yeah 20 so let's okay so the moment we are We are putting, a, we are setting a lower temperature. The relay clicks, and this, this also also can be used on heat and cool. It's a really interesting little <laughs> thermostat. It only costs about two dollars, and it has uh, a lot of settings. And the good thing is, the thermostat will not forget the the set point if um, power is taken. So this is an advantage if you want to use 
smart plugs yeah so we had one degree and it's still there yeah that's it so the next thing is to connect the fans here so we will have positive and negative all right so this is the first connection i have three fans wired together and they will go on um, one wire yeah just like this so i didn't cut the wire entirely i just expose the copper so this is it we are done we have everything connected also the thermostats and the magnets yeah the sensor and the magnets and we used a little bit of hot glue from place to place especially uh, in these areas where the supports will come so it will not touch the the wires yeah good and we have here two of them one is with we three fans one is with we four fans yeah maybe you will say the spacing is not the same and that's right because first i made 200 millimeter brackets and then after some calculations, I knew I needed smaller ones so I can accommodate the thermostat at the back. Yeah, and even this one is not the same. So this was a work in progress and I would say this, what we made together is pretty much the final version. So I will make two recordings with the fans at maximum speed and hopefully you can uh, make a guess of the noise level of each one so uh, yeah let's do that So guys this is it and uh, I think it's clear that the V4 is much quieter. We can also adjust from the PVM for the v freeze, so we can get them a little bit quieter but you have to remember if it's quieter the air airflow will be a little bit smaller or significantly smaller so ultimately it's up to you. Unfortunately the result we will have in about six months let's say after the winter is over so we can compare a full heating season and how effective these are so uh, maybe i will come back in spring with some results and compare the two consumption uh, graphics for the gas but yeah it will also depend on the weather again everything is changing and but hopefully we will see some um, some improvements yeah so this is it guys thank you for watching i will leave everything i used in the descrip description and um, also if you want i can leave you the files but uh, yeah if you want to make them yourself but remember every printer is different and maybe you will have to scale them a little bit up and down depending on uh, materials you use yeah so this is it for today thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one if you have questions just leave them in the comments